Good evening guys. What we're going to show you now is a few landings from GPS Rescue and I'm going to talk as we go through them so you can get an idea of exactly what happens. Now this is a new iFlight Chimera and it's a 7 inch quad and I have set it up as per the basics in beta flight to GPS Rescue, return home and land. Now, there are a few issues that I can see here that I do not know how to correct. And so I'm hoping one of the developers will actually see this and give me some advice because it would be nice to have a really good outcome. Now, I can tell you that the GPS rescue functions very well as far as getting the aircraft back to you. And as far as landing is concerned, it's a bit hit and miss and, and you're about to see why. So here we go. We start starting off with the um, aircraft flying up towards the end of this old golf course and GPS rescue is now started. The aircraft is now starting to go up into the air. Still keeps its heading and the reason being is I've got all of the settings in failsafe to hold. So it holds the throttle, holds the setting, holds everything it was doing. Now at this point in time it has rotated and you can see my vehicle down on the ground back there. And this oscillation is what I think is part of the problem that could be corrected. I do think it might have something to do with the angle that I've set it at, which was 45 degrees. And I also set it to eight meters per second to come back. And I think perhaps what's happening here is it is struggling to work out what speed it should be going at. Now, as you can notice at the moment, it's turned around and it is now going into landing mode. And you'll see that it still keeps rotating quite slowly as it's rotating down and you can hear the motors running at the same time. And shortly you're going to see me standing next to my vehicle. There I am there on the left. And as you can see, I'm not wearing goggles or anything. There's a mat on the floor that you're going to see. There's the mat and it lands and it disarms perfectly. Now here we have the second event where it goes into GPS rescue. Once again, I've set the distance away from me to around 100 meters just so that I could do a proper test. It rises up quite nicely. It was set to go to 50 meters, rotate around. And once again, you can see my vehicle down on the ground. And once again, this huge amount of oscillation starts. Now on the first instance, the return to altitude height was a lot lower and that was why it took a little quicker to get there. Right now we are heading back towards the landing spot and currently we are just about overhead and once you, and as you can see it starts to rotate again as it starts to descend. Seems to be a little more stable this time on holding a position rather than constant rotating, but it still does go into this rotating maneuver. I would suspect that the idea is it should hold the setting that it had or the heading that it had when you activated the GPS rescue. Now I've sped this piece up because it takes a long time to come down at one meter per second. Now I'm going to stop it and watch what happens at this point is it will get close to the ground disarms and crashes. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's completely unacceptable. The mat you can see is still on the ground on the bottom, and that is not an issue because the distance from that mat is quite close. So I'm happy with where it gets back. But on this particular occasion, it landed very hard and it actually knocked the battery off and snapped the strap holding the battery. This was the second return GPS. After about five of them, I have found that it does disarm above the ground. The first one I seem to have got lucky with. Each one subsequent to that I have not got lucky with and it seems to disarm itself and while it's still in the air. And being a decent sized quad it does fall reasonably straight down. But I still don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Now this could be nothing more than a throttle setting, minimum idle setting or something of that nature. But I was under the impression it would continue down until the ground was reached and it actually felt the bump and then it would disarm. This does not appear to be happening and this is what I would like somebody out there to give me some advice as to how to fix this one. If you do know, 
please leave it in the notes at the bottom and I'll be sure to respond to you and test it. And I'd like to say, just please remember to like and subscribe and help an old bloke out. Thank you very much for watching.